Superior Moonshine. A large amount of resolve. It doesn't look like it cost me any health. That's a good sign. Uh, rotten food. Small amount of health as a, at a large cost to resolve. Well. Let's get real familiar with this right now. Okay, so probably just requires less resolve. What else we got? Uh, switch character? Nah. Bell. Bell. Scripture of Ardor. So, Bell. 10% bonus tar for 6 minutes. Increase resolve gain for 3 minutes. Next parry poisons the enemy on success. Okay, those are pretty good. Tainted Nectar, we actually know what that one does. Untarnished Mask. These are kind of rare. I almost feel like I shouldn't be using them, but we're here. Successful parry, next attack does bonus damage. Stores your ability to reclaim your shell upon death. Ooh, that's really good. Recalls you back to Sister Janissa. Well, that's... I. <laughs> Sup? And Scripture of Euphoria. Next parry grants health on success. These are pretty good. I'm actually going to hold on to these. Okay, let's... Let's go fight the boss and see if it's a, a big jerk or if I'm okay. I don't have a whole lot of mushrooms, but I can farm if I, farm if I, mm, farm them if I need to. Anyway, sup, you creepy creature. Give me that drank. Well, that's just rude. That's just rude. Oh. He's just red. But the question is, is it... <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ow. I... I get what you're picking up, putting down. Through six, the twice born. Okay. What an absolute turd. And I'm dead. All right. Well, is what it is. That's going to be a toughie. Hopefully I don't lose my shell this next time. But we'll see. I've kept your flesh safe, Downing. Alright. Let's go. Nope. Okay, so we're going to fall again. I think this time I want to harden to avoid taking the falling damage. I missed that earlier. And that's probably quite helpful. I really think my character would remember. Drink it, you nerd. Really? Still? Rude.
Okay, that doesn't give me my bonus back. Okay. I get it. I understand how I'm supposed to approach this guy. All right. And I'm dead. I'm getting better at fighting him. I understand his pattern. I know how to get close to him when he's shooting at me now. Though it's kind of expensive stamina-wise. Ah. <sighs> Problem is, I'm getting hungry. But I should probably do I'll ring fit as well. Flesh, I keep, I keep putting that off, and it's bad. Yeah, interacting with dead self gives, gives HP. Is it a full heal or is it a partial heal? But also, how the heck do I avoid, avoid the falling damage? Or is that, uh, is that the upgrade that I haven't picked up yet? Because I was really hoping, heart, hoping that like hardening at the last second would do the trick. But nope. Okay, it's a full heal. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, no stamina. But we're up close, and I got some. Alright. Good enough. Ow, what? That didn't work. HP is low. But that's fine. Get my HP back. And got him. But he's got a second phase. They always do. This camera angle is different. This is super weird. Okay, I couldn't attack for some reason. Give me some HP back. Get in there. Get violent. Dang it. Ah, uh, it didn't work. I was really trying to parry him, but I haven't practiced his parry at all. We did all right. Losing the mushroom is kind of a waste. I, I'm i glad there's no Estus. At the same time, I wish there were more mushrooms. But I would I'll use, I would overuse them if I did. Family. Whew. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting there. It's learning his parries would be probably the best thing that I could do. So you do have the full heal tar as well. Yeah, I don't want to use those. I don't get those back, and I kind of want to save them for the last boss, but I'm not even going to use them on the last boss. <laughs> yeah, so I can't even I can't even do a dodge roll to get it back. What the hell? Don't take that away from me, game.
Oh. Well, there I go. Oh, shoot. And I didn't pick up my body. Well, that was bad. Yeah, he gets two di two lives and I don't. Scams. I... It's just... I don't know. Maybe clearly I should be playing as Beef Boy and then just go at it with the giant stonking health bar. I like this guy, though. I... It's I real tempting to actually give a... It's real tempting to give the, uh... What am I saying? The, like, Thief a shot would be kind of interesting. The Thief or Solomon could be real fun. Can I skip this? Nope. And yeah, I could use the item that gives me my extra health back, or my extra life back, but I don't want that. So one thing I've noticed is the enemies are particularly bad at clearing distance. I was wrong. Ow. Are you so spinny? There we go. I'm working on that. Well, that was squandered. There we go, and that should kill his babid brother. Which is good. Now, he can't clear distance as well as previously. Which means he's got some kind of ugly trick. The ugly trick is being very angry. Very angry. Where is your opening, good sir? Is it Will yelling? Okay. Mushroom. Because he's, he's got that kick, which is just a jerk. Because I, I try and get behind him to... Interesting. Not great stuff. Okay, option A. What? Oh, I, my Harden wasn't up. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, but it's it's dirty. And if I had that extra life, I think we could get him. I want to use the item that gives me more, but I know if I used it, I would I squander it immediately, so I gotta learn it otherwise. Bounding. Whew. But yeah, I'm thinking what I do. Go up, hit him once, twice, thrice, ish. Harden while he's hitting me, and then back the heck away if I can. <laughs> At this point, I'm doing that intentionally. And yeah, if I don't take nearly as much... Uh, on the early phase.
Okay. Don't try and get aggro. I think we're good. We're good. Ow! That was a really... long delay on that maneuver. How? Get a bit of HP back. We're barely getting any resolve here. Ow. You shit. Got him. Unfortunately, I'm very injured going into this next phase. Wait. That isn't necessarily a problem. Alright, here we go. Gotta get my stamina back. What? I... Uh, uh, I'm getting him, but I have to not be greedy. And the problem is, like, I think I have an opening, but for some reason, he, for some reason, he like delays a kick or a uh, swing really long, and it's like, oh, you stop that. The other thing I noticed is the enemies in this game are I'll real spinny. So, like, I um, think I'm outside of their swing range because I'm yes. behind them. This place is teeming with madmen who drank until they drown their senses. Very uh, well. I don't actually need your tire, lady. I'm doing no right ish. But yeah, so, in Dark Souls, very few enemies really have this spin. Really hate this. I'd be so choice if I had that extra life. Mostly choice. Need to eat more rats. Okay. I have no idea if time actually pauses or not. Oh, I'm in that menu. But yeah, boiled frog wouldn't be the worst. Ooh, that came within an inch of my nose. Okay, just get stamina back. Nothing to worry about. That's a problem. Wow. That was a... Like, every once in a while, he just has that really long delay where he's, like, kind of winding up, but it looks like he's done with the animation, but instead he's just winding up a real long swing with the axe. <laughs> I've kept your flesh safe, foundling. Sip this, and you'll I have no desire to initiate the unwilling. Okay. Does Divine Tar like the Invincibility Leaf power up? No. That'd be lovely, but no. Please don't show me this cutscene every time. Why is my character dumb? Like, you would think... After a billion times of this, you would find a rope. Yeah, there, there it was. That was the really long... Whoop.
There's the really long cooldown. There it is again. Yep. I've identified what's getting me. I'm also using my iframes much better now. Because I was using them pretty poorly for a little bit. Got him. Okay, keep distance. I wonder if it's almost viable to get him while he's roaring. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Just keep distance. Okay. So we're going to lure him away. I need to get some HP. Luckily, he does not run fast. It's a weird idea. I'm not injured yet. Okay, here we go. Got it. Got it again. Here's an idea. I think I've discovered the code on how to absolutely ruin things. Nope. Stay away from that. I think he's got a new pattern. There we go. Keep distance. Yeah, we got it. So here's a trick. Wait. Harden's not off cooldown. There we go. Did I get him? Nope. Got him slow mo. Try parrying. If fail, harden. And then bail. Easy peasy. Actually easy. Have you seen a speedrun of Mortal Shell? It's absolutely disgusting what they do to bosses. I can only imagine. What the sh. What the hell? I mean, it seems like this is like a torso or a face. Never mind, it was a bug. It was like a weird upside down. Upside down man bug thing. Spooky shit. Alright, we got the knotted gland. And some nascent tar. Oh, yeah, nascent tar. Innumerable tar. Oh, never mind. I, I thought it was invulnerable. Yes, you've done it. The sacred gland is yours. Perhaps it was always yours. If you manage to extract the true nectar, be wary. Sip slowly. I remember a heretic who drank deeply. 
He took what wasn't his and gulped it down greedily. So that's the bird he man. He was unrecognizable afterward. Another man entirely. That's gotta be this another, the bird man. And his penance. I have no desire to initiate Peace. the unwilling. All right, now let's see what horrors await us on the uh, flip side of this. This, by the way, the the fog when it rolls in and completely changes a level. Why is there a teleporter here? Oh. Brilliant level design. Because effectively, they've made this... Yeah, so we can't get back the conventional way. They make it so you can... You have to go through the entire level a second time around in a different manner. I am so boned. I did this area horribly wrong. Well. Okay, I got one. Well, she died. Oh, I can't see if my light bulb is warning me about stuff. That's worrying. Well then. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a short route back, but then they switched the whole level on me. Okay, we've just got her. I should have gone for the crossbow one. I figured she wouldn't be able to see me that well. So we might be okay. But she did, of course. Okay. If you can tell, I'm trying to learn how to parry this guy. Well, that didn't work. That's okay. I wonder if I can almost run for the other teleporter. But yeah, uh, falling is going to be brutal here. I'll make it work if I can't. I, I mean, we have to. I have no choice but to get out of I've here. I've kept your flesh huh. safe, Thalming. Nice part is she also keeps my glimpses safe. Or, because I don't actually care too much about Tar at this point. I can far farm, I mean, I can farm both easy. Uh, did they move the teleporter? Huh. It's under a different path every time. Well, that went poorly. That's super cool. Yeah, I was really wondering about a lot of these decisions. Because they seemed really esoteric at the time. Uh. 
This level blows. Like, this room segment is just so mean. Like, I guess I could maybe lure them back? But, like, oh boy. Dodging around pits is just rough. Oh, it's okay. We got it, and I'll get my, uh... I'll get my extra life back at some point. Okay. So we want to go left path this time. Yeah, one other thing I notice sometimes... He is just in space. There we go. Perfect. Got through them. Oh. I gotta be careful around the holes. Luckily, the mushroom's still here. It's hard to see these ghosts. Hard to see a lot of things. Everything is gonna be rough. Though, maybe we've... Maybe we're back on track. Maybe the level design... No, of course not. There we go. Perfect. Nothing else. I was going to say, maybe the level design will be friendly and I can get back to that elevator and just go down. But no, of course not. That would be too easy. Why not just rush the teleporter? Because I don't know what's waiting for me and that's bad. Why is it that sometimes I will 100% like stun them and sometimes they're just like, yeah, I know you're hitting me in the face. I just don't care. I don't get it. Hey, thank you, Cryos, for the 33 month resub. There we go. How could I forget? Thank you. Oh, boy. There we go. We got a bell boy. Nothing more. Nope, we got a little bit more than a bellboy. Hey, here's an idea. Peace, brothers. Because option A, they somehow can follow me. Option B, this leashes the shit out of them and they can't deal with it. I see... I see Hammerman over there. Well, let's just see how this goes. Oh, let's see. Okay. He went back. This is good. Gorilla, gorilla Warfare. Hey, and I got my extra life back. I think we got really lucky. I think we just have... Ham... Hammerman. Am man man. Got him. All right, there's one. Perfect. I found the enjoyment, uh, the mechanic of hardening to be very enjoyable once you get the hang of it. Oh, absolutely. I honestly.
this is the worst camera angle. Okay. I found it. I find. I am finding the hardening mechanic to be absurdly fun. Honestly, almost more so than blocking in a lot of Souls likes. Like, it would not be terrible if Dark Souls actually took inspiration from this game and brought the hardening mechanic over. They never will, but it's so fun to play around with. What the shit? Oh god damn. Look at that. Look at how many enemies there are. Well, that sucked. I just... Didn't work. He knocked me on the ground and then that was the end of it. Well, we'll try again. I kept your flesh safe, Bell Ming. 